This program aims to find solutions to your medical queries. It seeks answers to common health problems that have been hounding you. We will help you out in finding answers to your medical concerns. Good evening everyone, I'm Angel Jacob and this is MedTalk, your weekly on-air health consultation here on NITV. Our liver is designed to fight off viruses, toxins, and other hazardous chemicals and drugs in our body. But when it becomes inflamed, it can cause various health complications and can possibly even lead to death. Hepatitis meaning hepa, which is liver, and itis meaning swelling or pamamaga. So there are many causes kung bakit mamamaga ang ating mga atay. Pwedeng hepatitis because of a virus, hepatitis dahil sa pag-iinom ng alak, hepatitis dahil sa pag-inom ng mga delikadong mga gamot. So yun ang mga pinaka-common na hepatitis. There are five unique hepatitis viruses according to the World Health Organization. These are identified by the letters A, B, C, D, and E. According to the Coalition to Eradicate Viral Hepatitis in Asia Pacific in the Philippines, someone dies from viral hepatitis every 30 seconds in the Asia Pacific region. While not everyone with hepatitis may exhibit evident symptoms, those with hepatitis may experience abdominal discomfort, diarrhea, nausea, jaundice or the yellowing of the skin and even stomach ache. Ang alam ng madami is pag nagka-hepatitis ka, maninilaw ang iyong mga mata or maninilaw ang iyong balat. Ang tawag namin doon is jaundice. No? Pero may mga hepatitis, sa klase ng hepatitis, tulad ng hepatitis B, saka hepatitis C, na walang sintomas. If not given the right medical attention, some cases of hepatitis can lead to a more serious outcome, such as cirrhosis, which may later on become liver cancer. What types of vaccines are available to those with hepatitis? How can viral hepatitis be prevented? Find out the answers tonight on MedTalk. And joining us tonight is Dr. Janus Ong, a hepatologist from the Medical City. He's the Public Relations Officer of the Hepatology Society of the Philippines. Also joining us tonight is Dr. Eternity Labio. She's also a hepatologist from the Medical City. She's also the president of the Hepatology Society of the Philippines. You may join in the discussion by calling our hotline at 548-4678. Good evening, doctors. Welcome to MedTalk. Good evening. As we've seen in the video, there are several types of hepatitis and uh, each type is identified by the letters of the alphabet. Doctors, please help us understand, uh, please help us distinguish one from the other. Let's start with you, Doc Eternity. Yeah, so from the video you, sh you, you showed that it was A, B, C, D, and E, right? Yes. But uh, siguro for our concerns, anong relevant sa atin is A, B, and C, uh, A and B being the more common ones here in our country. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, ang um, mas uh, popular or the, mm. the ones that we hear often are the A, B, and C. We can touch yeah. a little bit about, uh, we can touch on the uh, D and E later on in the program. But let's first talk about hepatitis A. Let's get to know about uh, hepatitis is a virus, no? Well, hepatitis means swelling of the liver. So, it's like a generic term. No? Hepa means liver, itis means swelling. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of things can cause swelling of the liver. It can be a virus, mm -hmm. it can be alcohol, it can be fat, it can be medications or drugs. So, mm -hmm. now for our show, it's a virus. So, hepa A, B, C are all viruses. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with the hepatitis virus A. Dr. Janus, hepatitis virus A, how, how does it spread and well, uh, how do you get it? Um, hepatitis A is spread by what they call the fecal-oral route. Mm 
meaning it's through ingestion of the virus. Mm -hmm. So, yung na kakain mo na merong hepatitis A, dun, dun na ta transmit yung hepatitis A virus. Mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, so that's usually um, eating out in um, uh, places where uh, it's less than optimal sanitary conditions, um, you, especially in the preparation of the food. Okay, so hepatitis A uh, is uh, spread through water and food. Food, contaminated food and water. Okay, so when we eat out, um, sometimes, diba, we get an upset tummy, we get diarrhea, and we attribute it. Parang tin, kailangan itrace eh, where you ate and what you ate. Mm -hmm. So that is hepatitis A. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Most often. of the time, if the symptoms are immediately after eating, it's more food poisoning than okay. hepatitis A. Okay. With hepatitis A, there's usually an incubation period that they call. Um, it's the period where the virus infects you and then before the symptoms start. That's usually a couple of weeks. Oh, it takes yes. weeks. Yes. So uh, between the, the time that you ingested um, the virus, the virus uh, it won't manifest right away? Not right away, yes. Oh, okay, so what are the uh, first uh, symptoms that uh, mm -hmm. one will experience uh, in the event na my virus nga inside yeah. of them? Dr. Usually Dr. hepatitis A, you get like a flu-like symptom like parang may trangkaso mm -hmm. so you get like fever you feel weak etc so it's like a flu type of illness mm -hmm. but then later on then you get yellow no so yun yung yellowing of the eyes and the skin then we call that jaundice right okay. but all this angel can be prevented by a vaccine so mm -hmm. so i think that's one of the messages that we want to bring out there that Hepatitis A, you can protect yourself from hepatitis A, get mm -hmm. a vac have yourself tested or um, find out whether you receive the vaccine because the vaccine is safe and effective and it can prevent future infections. Okay, so uh, who are candidates to get the vaccine? Um, we, were, uh, we saw in the video earlier that you know, when you eat out and uh, there are mm. different types of food and uh, in different areas. Mm. No, sometimes hindi rin maiiwasan that you um, mm. you're hungry already and you have to eat in a certain area. Um, maiiwasan ba ang hepatitis A? How do you get the uh, vaccine and when should you get it? Um, well, many Filipinos have been exposed to hepatitis A um, and not know that they had hepatitis A kasi some of the infections or majority of the infections actually do not manifest with symptoms. Mm -hmm. So, um, there are no, uh, the clear recommendations for hepatitis A vaccine are for those who are at risk of getting severe disease. So they are um, persons who have cirrhosis, those who have chronic liver disease. Okay. It is recommended that they be tested and if they're not immune, they be vaccinated. Um, there's also a particular risk group, men who have sex with men, they are also advised to um, have themselves tested and if they are not yet immune, mm -hmm. that they should be vaccinated for um, hepatitis A. Mm -hmm. Aside from that, because hepatitis A is so common in our country, anyone I think is at risk. So if you feel you want to be protected, mm -hmm. you can have yourself tested and uh, be vaccinated as well. Okay, so yeah. tested first and then vaccinated. Yes. You can't go ahead and, and go to your uh, your doctor and say, or go to a healthcare practitioner and say, you know, I'd like to get a hepatitis A vaccine the without reason, being tested. The reason is about 60% of Filipinos may already, already have, have the antibody have been exposed so sayang naman yung vaccine okay yes so it, it, the filipinos now you mentioned the filipinos 60 percent of us yes. may have it yeah. why is that is it because of a lifestyle is that because of what we eat because it, the virus is common in our country mm -hmm. it's endemic they call it endemic mm -hmm. so it's a it's widespread um, in our country so that's why we are inadvertently exposed to it um, during our day-to-day uh, -day activities. Mm -hmm. And so, the best way to combat that is to get tested and to get the vaccine. If you're not yet immune. If yes. you're not yeah. yet immune. Yeah. Okay. In the event that you are immune to the vaccine. Then you're, you're already protected. Then you're protected for life. Oh, for yes. life? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, it's a virus. We say it's yes. a virus. Uh, does it go away uh, with medication, with treatment, hepatitis A? Or will it stay in your system? And when your immune system goes down, will it recur? 
Dr. Tony. Hepatitis A, fortunately, you know, our immune system can resolve it. Mm -hmm. So there's really no major serious consequence to your liver. But kanina nga sabi ni Dr. Ong is, um, um, well, there are people who, whose immune system are not normal, then mm -hmm. they are at risk for some complications in the future. But if your immune system is normal, like you and me, then the vaccine is good enough for life. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you shouldn't avoid certain things uh, or certain types of food or a certain lifestyle? Well, cook your food well. Uh, make sure you know you know the the sanity, the quality, or the sanitation you know, of your food. I guess that's one way of mm -hmm. avoiding HEPA A, and also get yourself tested and vaccinated so you don't have to worry mm -hmm. and you sleep better at night, knowing you're protected, right? Right. But yeah. um, um, some of us would like to eat raw food, like our salad, our, mm. our raw. Uh, as our long as they're sushi. washed okay. and they're. Uh, there's a way, I think even if it's raw food, you still prepare it in a way that it's sanitary. Like, for example, salad, yeah. you wash them mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. then that should be uh, good enough for most individuals um, yeah. and for hepatitis A as well. Mm -hmm. yes. And salad, your fruit. Yes. Sometimes you're so hungry, you don't have, you just rub it on your, your clothing <laughs> or like a tissue and you bite into that fruit right away. Yes, but I mean, it's not that endemic naman. No? Okay, and we don't um, want to scare them naman. Yes. Everything that, uh, every type of food that's raw, you have to be yes. so cautious. Yes, and it yes. doesn't have to be raw. It's undercooked food, it's food Proper, um, not prepared or prepared by someone who uh, did not wash their hands. So okay. hand washing by every, that's why you see in restaurants, our uh, employees are required to wash their hands mm -hmm. after they use the uh, toilet because oh. that's really very important. Mm -hmm. That part of uh, food preparation. Okay, so hepatitis A is uh, you um, it's spread through food and water. Mm -hmm. Sanitation is very important. Washing of the hands and yes. mm -hmm. end of uh, if you're a salad eater, then yes. wash it well. And there is a vaccine. Yes, yes, there is a vaccine as mentioned. So we've covered um, hepatitis A. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we cut to a break and we come back? When we come back, we'll talk about hepatitis B. Yep. Uh, all right. That's it. Okay. Yeah. All right. When we come back, we'll talk about hepatitis B. All that and more when Med Talk returns. According to the World Health Organization, roughly 16.7% of adult Filipinos are currently suffering from hepatitis B. Those with a hepatitis B virus usually end up succumbing to cirrhosis and liver cancer. We're back here on MedTalk, still learning and talking about the hepatitis virus. We've talked about hepatitis A. This time, let's go to B, hepatitis B. Uh, what happens to our liver when one um, has hepatitis B and uh, how is it spread? Dr. Yeah. Tenity? Hepatitis B is also, again, a virus that causes swelling of the liver. Um, the bad thing about hepatitis B is there are no symptoms. So sometimes we call it the silent killer. So um, there are a lot of people who get surprised that they have a positive hepatitis B test. No? Mm -hmm. So questions like, how did I get this, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we like to talk about hepatitis B because it's very common. Eh, common among Pinoys. I'd always say one out of seven adult Pinoys have it. No? So it is a common problem. It's not a rare disease mm -hmm. that, that Pinoy. So Pinoy should know about it just because it's common. Okay. So what should Pinoy's know about hepatitis B? Again, uh, just like my question for hepatitis A, is it a lifestyle? Is it a bad behavior? Is it um, uh, being um, unsanitized? What is well, it about hepatitis well, B? Uh, different from hepatitis A, um, he remember Dr. Lavio said that hepatitis A, when you get it, it goes away. Yes. Um, and you get immune mm -hmm. after you get infected. With hepatitis B, there is what they call a chronic phase, meaning you have the infection in most patients for life. And uh, 
And so it can lead to cirrhosis and liver cancer because it damages your liver over uh, decades and years. Mm -hmm. um, and eventually in about 30% of patients, it leads to cirrhosis and liver cancer. Okay. How do you get it? Yes. In the Philippines, the, mo the most common way uh, Filipinos get it is uh, through maternal to child transmission okay. at birth. So at birth, not yes. genetic, not congenital during pregnancy, nor childhood, but at birth, the birthing at, process. Yes. yes. So why is it, um, uh, why does it happen that uh, the baby can have uh, hepatitis B at birth? So the mother is unaware that she is a carrier of the virus. Um, she doesn't have prenatal screening, so she, she's unaware. She feels perfectly healthy. Mm -hmm. So during the birthing process, through exposure to the blood and body fluid during the birthing process, the virus gets passed on to the baby. Okay. And again, all this can be prevented. So meaning if the mom gets screened for mm -hmm. it, then the baby can receive two types of vaccine and this this helps prevent the transmission of the virus from one generation to another. Mm -hmm. Doctors, um, we have a caller on the line. Okay. okay. All right. um, let's entertain our caller. We have Michael Santos. Hi, Michael. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Um, yeah, I would like to ask kasi po, um, I have a chronic hepatitis since 2006. Um, Na-diagnose lang ako yung mag-abroad mag sana ako. Uh, Na-positive na ako for hepatitis B. Ngayon, um, until now, meron pa rin po and affected pa rin, epekto pa rin po yung aking job employment kasi nga po, may hepatitis B pa rin ako, uh, carrier. Ngayon po, in, la, every night, nakasap, nagsuffer po ako ng ano, yung uh, stomach pain and yung kabag ba na tinatawag. Connected po ba siya sa hepatitis B dahil I'm suffer chronic hepatitis since, two, since 2006. Ano po ba yung pwedeng gawin and may possible po bang mawala? Salamat, Michael. Doctors? Um, Michael, uh, Michael uh, hindi ka nag-iisa. No? Madaming uh, katulad mo na who has the same uh, problem and the same dilemma. Um, uh, dapat hindi ito, it should not interfere with your job. No? Kung ang trabaho mo naman does not involve uh, exposure to blood and infected body fluids, uh, there should be no risk. No? Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you can live a normal life. You can have a productive job, even with hepatitis B. So in other words, um, get yourself evaluated by a doctor, Michael. Um, find out your status, whether you need treatment or not. And para uh, monitor din siya for, for complications in the future. Uh, we can prevent uh, complications if you get yourself tested. Aww. So. So he was diagnosed 2006. Yeah, but I think his question was whether mm. the bloating mm -mm. Um, uh -oh. is a stomach manifestation pain, no? on uh -oh. stomach pain. It can be a manifestation of hepatitis B infection. Um, so he will need evaluation. But um, more often than not, bloating is probably a manifestation of something else. Uh, it's okay. called dyspepsia. Mm. So certainly it can be. Um, and that would require evaluation oh, oh, um, so a that um, uh, a diagnosis can be made and then para mabigyan siya ng tamang uh, gamot at mm. lunas sa uh, pain niya. Oh, kasi yes. uncomfortable. Michael, are you still on the line? Uh, yes, yes. Oh, oh, na, uh, uncomfortable ka at night, no? Kasi uh, sumasakit yung, yung chan mo. Yung aking po yung stoma. Kasi and then nakasuffer niyo po ng kabag ngayon po eh, right now. So okay. Most likely, baka oh. hyperacidity, acid related, ganyan. Mm -hmm. So it may not be because of the virus. Okay. Uh, oh. All right. So um, he should um, get himself uh, tested again. Uh, yes. In 2006, and that's when he was diagnosed with chronic hepatitis B. He should get it again. Yeah. Um, every, how often? I think, Michael, two reasons why he should go see a doctor. No, I think um, first you need to find out the status of your infection. Um, number two, you need to find out whether ano ba yung cost ng bloating na yan. So, so I think those are two reasons that you know should make you go consult a doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, how, uh, a part of the consultation is uh, with the two of you. So thank you, <laughs> doctors. <laughs> Michael, any other question? Uh, yes, last na lang po. Um, Sige. Yung chronic hepatitis po ba? Pwede pa? May kailangan pa po ba siyang gawing 
injection or vaccine para mawala po. Okay, Michael, once once you're infected kasi um, the vaccine uh, is not will not be effective, no? So so ang binabakunahan lang para sa hepatitis B is uh, yung mga hindi infected tsaka yung wala pang protection, wala pang antibodies. So the vaccine will only work for those who are not infected. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there are effective treatments that mm -hmm. can control the infection. Uh, so like, merong, like what, doctor? Um, so he mentioned an injection. Mm -hmm. So there's an injection that's called interferon. Mm -hmm. And then there are oral medicines. Tablets. And there's several of them. There are tablets that you take once a day. Mm -hmm. um, so they're very effective in controlling the infection, pero um, at the moment, uh, to eradicate the infection, yung mawala talaga yung hepatitis B, medyo mahirap pa with the medications that we have. Okay. But we can get control mm -hmm. of the infection. Mm -hmm. So it, the virus is controlled? And therefore, there's no liver disease. Okay. It decreases the chances yeah. for complications. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. right now, we don't have medications pa that can cure. Okay. Hepatitis B. Uh, the current available medications are just to suppress it. Mm -hmm. And when it's suppressed, that's good enough because you prevent all the complications that go along. Right. And when you suppress it, you're able to uh, go about your daily um, activities course. and you're Definitely. able to work. Yeah. Oh, oh. Michael? Yes, po. Um, okay. Doctor, uh, last na lang po. Uh, what about po yung may asawa po ako? Uh, pwede rin po ba silang magkaroon? Pero po may vaccine po sila since nung... Uh, may bakun sila ng hepatitis B, even yung daughter ko po meron. Pwede pa rin po ba sila magkaroon ng hepatitis B? Michael, that's a very good question. Those are, yan ang mga unang-una talaga namin ginagawa. Uh, if one in the family is infected, uh, sinasabihan namin sila na get your family members and everybody who live with you in the household be tested. Mm -hmm. And if they are not protected, they should be vaccinated. So, so you prevent this anxiety about uh, mapapasa ko ba to sa, sa mga kasama ko sa bahay, etc. Mm -hmm. Kasi nga, the, the way that you pass on the virus is through exposure, through blood and body fluid. It's not through casual contact. So, Hindi, not by hugging oh, oh. or sharing utensils? Yes, no. yeah. yes. Okay. Kasi that's a very common question, di ba, Angel? Kailangan mm -hmm. ko bang ihiwalay ang pinagkainan ko because there's saliva. Mm -hmm. there, although there is virus in the saliva, it's not enough to, to transmit, transmit to another person. Okay, so. so unlike hepatitis A, food and water, this one is blood and yeah. bodily fluid. Yes. yes. Okay. All right, Michael? Hello po. Uh oh. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Po, um, thank you po uh, sa information and gusto ko na lang magpaset ng appointment for one of the <laughs> hepatology doctor na para po tumingin sa akin kung sino po yung pwede po ah. Oh, na pwede po ako i-set ng appointment. Okay. Uh, 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 salamat, Michael, for calling. And our um, production assistant will uh, get your contact details and uh, you can um, consult with our doctors. Maraming salamat. Okay, doctor. So, concern yan, ano? Um, if one has hepatitis A or B, in this case, no, Michael's case, B, Yung, uh, yung mga kasama mo sa bahay. Oh. Uh, uh, Siyempre, you're concerned na baka mahawa sila. Maybe you, you're even concerned that you can't get close to them. Kasi mm -hmm. um, you'll feel guilty kung mahawa mo sila and, and mm -hmm. you know, they get sick also. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. But what's good about hepatitis B is that you can protect the ones that you love, the ones that you live with, mm -hmm. by um, getting them vaccinated. Because once they have the antibody, they're already protected against the uh, hepatitis B infection. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wanted to, I'm sorry, no, uh, go the, ahead, to, uh, to emphasize the vaccination part. Yes, yes. Because um, uh, Dr. Labio had mentioned that if the mother was uh, infected, um, the child should get two types of vaccine, a immune globulin and then the hepatitis B vaccine at birth. Uh, but in our country, actually, it's mandatory that all infants born in this country mm -hmm. should be vaccinated within 24 hours of birth. Um, and, um, and that's free. Okay. So a law has been passed mm, that nice. says all infants should be vaccinated within 24 hours, and that should be free. Okay. It's also included in the 
um, PhilHealth uh, newborn care package. Mm -hmm. So there are many ways to get that vaccine for free. Okay. So maybe all the mothers should make sure, and the fathers, mm -hmm. that if they have a newborn, that they should insist on getting them vaccinated. Okay. Because that's very good at protecting against the infection. Mm -hmm. And so that the, the infection or the virus stops yeah, yes. uh, with their lineage. Yes. 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 Okay, so that's that's very good to know. And um, you know, we we want to um, inform everybody and educate everyone that it yes. is a republic act. It is yes. mandatory yes. in every yes. uh, birthing clinic. Yes, so, yes. Hospital, hospital, clinic, mm -hmm. even births at home. Mm -hmm. yes. um, they should be encouraged. Um, actually, it's mandatory, so it's okay. not encouraged. Mm -hmm. And uh, once you have the uh, hepatitis B virus, it is um, encouraged that you seek treatment, that you yes. uh, seek, seek medication, consultation. seek consultation. Yeah. What are the treatment options? Not everybody, available? not everybody who's infected naman uh, are, are, are to be treated. So they need to find out their status, okay. uh, whether they need treatment or not. And there is treatment available out there. So I think that's, that's the message that we want to put out there. Mm -hmm. that don't lose hope. When mm -hmm. you have the hepatitis B, don't, don't lose sleep over it. Uh -huh. uh, there is hope that you, know, you can still uh, lead a normal life. Mm -hmm. In the event that you are not able to get the vaccine, or wait, hold on. For example, you're not able to get the vaccine uh, at, birth. at birth, and uh, you're in adulthood. Can you still get the vaccine at any point in your life? Sure. Sure. Yes. yes. Um, there's actually what they call catch-up vaccination, um, which is given to school-aged children, uh, to those who do not have a history of vaccination. Okay. Mandatory so, still? Um, no, that's encouraged. That's okay. not free, but um, it's encouraged that if they, if you look at the immunization history of a school-aged child and they're not yet vaccinated against hepatitis B, then it is recommended that they um, receive the hepatitis B vaccine. Mm -hmm. So responsibility of the parents and uh, yes, and their and pediatrician parang, as well. Mm -hmm. Is that yes, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Right, doctors. We've talked about uh, hepatitis A. We've talked about hepatitis B. Now we'll move on to hepatitis C. We'll get to know more about this virus when MedTalk returns. We're back here on MedTalk, still talking about the hepatitis virus. You may join in the discussion by calling our hotline at 548-4678. Doctors, before we go to hepatitis C, um, I understand that you are part of a campaign that's called Be Aware. Please tell us about this campaign, Dr. Yes. Janus. Okay, so um, you know, one of the problems with hepatitis B in our country is that um, the Filipinos do not uh, know a lot about the infection. In fact, um, we see a lot of patients who come to our clinic who are tested positive and then they're lost. Mm -hmm. They really practically do not know what to do. Um, and so, um, so I think um, one of the ways that we can get to control this virus is by informing uh, the public. Um, and so that's why we at the Hepatology Society of the Philippines has, have embarked on an ambitious project um, and um, hopefully we can um, execute it. Um, we call it the Be Aware, B-E-A-W-A-R-E -E campaign and um, it will be a multimedia campaign. We started um, with a Facebook page, so okay. it's called Be Aware PH or even if you just write Be Aware, um, you should get to the Facebook page. And then in the next few weeks, we should launch our uh, website where there will be more information about hepatitis B. We're also in the process of making um, radio infomercials um, that um, we hope to um, uh, put into radio stations around the country. Mm -hmm. And you've started with our show. Yes. yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank, yeah, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Huh? Um, yeah. Doc, you know, in thanking you for the opportunity, you know, we're also thankful that you're bringing awareness to all of us uh, because it's one out of seven, as you've mentioned, uh, yes. 
may have the virus yes. or are susceptible to the virus. You've mentioned, Dr. Janus, that they come to you and um, they have no symptoms. Biglang they're tested and it's positive. Uh, why, why does this happen? Why is the awareness um, not as widespread? Or why do Filipinos... Um, why is it a habit for Filipinos to come to the doctor or see the doctor when, uh, yeah. when it's medyo late na or yeah. when they feel something na hindi tama? I think most people want to avoid going to the doctor. I think that's parang human nature, right? Mm. But uh, I think we need to understand that the liver is a very patient organ. In other words, hindi yan magpaparamdam unless may problema na. Mm -hmm. So as far as liver disease is concerned, uh, you should really get yourself tested, get a blood test. Uh, it's a simple blood test. Get a liver ultrasound. Those are the only ways that you can prevent and find out whether you have hepatitis B or any other form of liver disease. Um, pag inantay mo na may symptoms, pwede kasing late na yon, no? Mm -hmm. uh, like I said. Anong effect, doctor, ng late na na, na pag uh, consulta sa doctor? Well, yeah. um, Many patients who come to see us, um, they're jaundiced already, they have cirrhosis already, they have liver tumors already. And um, by that time, um, there may be something that we can still do for uh, the patients, but um, it's more difficult, more costly. Mm -hmm. So it's better to um, know the status of hepatitis B infection in one person and then act on it before it leads to complications because it's, it's cheaper. Mm -mm. Um, you can also uh, live a healthier lifestyle because there are things that can aggravate hepatitis infection like alcohol or weight Fat. gain mm. um, leading to fatty liver that can aggravate um, hepatitis B related liver disease. So mm. um, it's always good to know and uh, act on the um, uh, infection to prevent the complications rather than deal with the complications later, later on. on. Doctors, before we go to hepatitis C, how is um, hepatitis diagnosed? Is there a blood test? Is there, mm -hmm. What are the tests that uh, will diagnose one who yeah. might have the uh, virus? Um, you can have a simple blood test. So it's available almost in all laboratories and hospitals. It's called the hepatitis B surface antigen test. So HBSAG. No, so, so through a simple blood test, it may not be a part of your annual checkup. Check mm -hmm. So patients are encouraged specifically ask for it because your doctor may not um, ask for it. But uh, uh, through this program, I hope, ano, alam na ng mga tao na, na yes, you can get yourself tested and know whether you are protected. Mm -hmm. And if you are infected, uh, we can find out whether you need treatment or not. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you are positive, um, is it too late to get the vaccine? Yes. Um, too late na. Once you're infected, HPS AG positive, uh, the vaccine will not work. Okay. Yes. Okay. How about the vaccine for hepatitis C? Now we move into uh, learning more about the hepatitis C virus. Dr. Janus, start with well, you. Well, hepatitis C is similar to the hepatitis B virus. It's transmitted in the same way, body fluids and blood products. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but unlike hepatitis B, there is no vaccine yet um, for hepatitis no uh, C. Okay. Um, there is for hepatitis B very effective, but there's no vir uh, vaccine for hepatitis C virus. But what's different with hepatitis C is that the treatments that are available now for hepatitis C, while they're very expensive, um, are um, uh, curative. So with hepatitis C, we can cure the infection. With hepatitis B, we can control the infection. Okay, so uh, if you have C, magagamot ka. May gamot. May gamot, uh -oh. rather. At ang B, makokontrol mo lang yung virus. May gamot din, yeah. pero control. Aside yes. from the difference in what you've just mentioned between B and C, what are the other similarities or differences between hepatitis B and C? Unlike hepatitis A, hepatitis B and C can cause serious liver disease. It can lead to liver cirrhosis and liver cancer. So cirrhosis Most of the liver, I understand, is the scarring of the liver? Yes. Uh, yes, uh, liver cirrhosis means... Um, scar or damage mm. in the liver and and the damage can be brought about by many things not just hepatitis B and C you can have cirrhosis from 
drinking too much alcohol. You can have cirrhosis from too much fat. So, so um, the the fat in your liver can act can also damage your, your liver in the long term and, and, and cause cirrhosis and damage. So, madaming nagsasabi, paano ako, ako nagkaroon ng liver cirrhosis eh, hindi mm. naman ako manginginom. Mm -mm. So, liver disease is not only kasi associated with too much alcohol. Yun yung common notion eh, no? Exactly. Pag um, manginginom ka, that uh, diretso sa liver, it's gonna damage oh. your liver right away and lead to more complications. Yeah. I mean, we, I get that question all the time, Doktora, paano ba ako nagkaroon ng ganitong problema? Eh, hindi naman ho ako umiinom wala ng ala. Wala akong wala akong malinis. So uh, parang healthy lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle. Oh, that's yes. the usual so. thing. And then I'd always tell them, because oh, oh. there are many other things that can damage your liver other than alcohol. So other than alcohol, fatty, yes. fatty liver. What exactly yes. is fatty liver? If from the food that we eat? Well, well, fat in the liver uh, can be brought about by many things. It's a lifestyle disease. Yun yung so, lifestyle. kakambalian ng diabetes, mm -hmm. mataas na cholesterol, pagkain ng mga masasarap na bawal na pagkain. Ko Christmas pa naman. Yes. Yes. You know, so parang um, mahirap, medyo mahirap iwasan when you go to all these parties and then they serve you all these different types of food. Everything in moderation. Okay, there you go. It's quite difficult. There right? you go. Everything in moderation. Okay, yeah. so oh, everything in moderation, mm -hmm. not necessarily if you drink, you will have uh, scarring of the liver or hepatitis yeah. C. Yeah. Fatty tissue, what, what other... Um, yeah, how to take care of your liver. Um, exactly, diet, lifestyle, diet, exercise, eat the right food, everything in moderation. If, if you drink, then don't drink too much. If you eat fatty food, then don't eat too much, I mm -hmm. guess, and uh, get an active lifestyle. Get yourself tested for hepatitis B. Um, okay. Find out your protection for HEPA A and HEPA B. So I think those are the things that... Uh, we're commonly asked, eh, ba mm -hmm. namin? how do we have a healthy liver? So those are the things that, uh, that we'd always say. Um, uh, medications, uh, everything we, we take in, mm -hmm. uh, we, we eat, I mean, somehow processed by the liver. So don't just take uh, all those supplements out there. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, nah. yeah rational <laughs> drug use, oh. etc. Because I mean, you may have a friend, you know, taking supplements, it can uh, wreak havoc on your liver, or the, your liver can work double time, no, because of everything oh, or well, all the nah. pills that you take, which sometimes you don't need, the man. Yes. Yes. Just be careful. I mean, okay. uh, not everything out there is, is safe. So, mm -hmm. and especially if you have a liver problem, then it can be something that you're, you know, you're putting yourself at risk to. Mm -hmm. So, cirrhosis of the liver, does it stop there? Can it lead to a more complicated um, uh, medical mm -hmm. condition? Well, cirrhosis of the liver, sabi nga ni Doktora, it's naninigas yung atay mo. Actually, nag, I, I, uh, it, it forms nodules. Okay. Instead of being smooth, the liver becomes nodular. Oh, but that's inside our that's body. That's inside your body. Outside, may, may manifestation din ah, well, Actually, min, pag early cirrhosis, wala pang mm -hmm. manifestations. Mm -hmm. Makikita na lang yun sa ultrasound mm -hmm. um, or biopsy ng atay. Mm -hmm. um, but cirrhosis is the um, parang... Uh, background where okay. you can develop liver failure. Liver failure is pag yung lumalaki na po yung chan, mm. nangangayayat, naninilaw. Mm -mm. Um, it's also the background for the development of liver cancer. Okay. So the patients who have cirrhosis are at risk for liver cancer. All right. Before we cut to a break, I hope it's okay. You know, we've, uh, we've talked about hepatitis A, we've touched on B and C. Um, I think I failed to ask about the uh, symptoms. Quickly, the oh. symptoms lang of um, hepatitis C, hepatitis, uh, C A and B. Um, you've mentioned that lumalaki yung chance sa hepatitis C. Any other symptom na dapat uh, bantayan or tandaan? So, dalawang, ano, let's think about the acute phase. Sa acute infection, yung sinabi ni doktora, yung flu-like symptoms, mm. fatigue, nausea, yellowing of the eyes, that will go away. Okay. Uh, sa chronic naman, ito yung pag nagkakaroon na ng cirrhosis and liver cancer. So kung cirrhosis na late, yun na po yung lumalaki ang chan at uh, naninilaw at okay. nangangayaya. Nang okay. Yung cancer naman, abdominal pain. Kasi lumalaki yung bukol, um, sumasakit yung uh, right side ng abdomen usually where the liver is located. Mm -hmm. At saka nangangayaya kasi mm -hmm. most patients with cancer have kakeksya related to the cancer. Mm -hmm. So they... They don't have an appetite, 
and um, they start to lose weight. Yeah. But you know, a lot we see a lot of our patients that don't feel anything at all. See, so that's the yung sinasabi ni Dr. Ong is uh, when you have complications, then you feel all, all these of these things. things. Oh, oh. But most commonly, they come to our clinic, they have a positive test, and how come I have hepatitis? I feel healthy. Mm -mm. So those are the those are the people we we usually see. So um, and that's an opportunity for you to intervene and do something about it. Mm -hmm. And it's a good thing that they come to you, they show the results, and they want something done yes. immediately. No, yes. bago pa lumala yung problema nila. If it's not treatment, at least monitoring. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Doctors will uh, talk about how to protect your liver, uh, treatment options available, and how to monitor one who has been diagnosed with either hepatitis A, B, and C. We'll talk about that and more when MedTalk returns. Those who are infected with hepatitis B should be tested for HIV and hepatitis C. Since transmission is fairly similar with these viruses, co-infection can be a possibility and this may increase the risk of related health complications. We're back here on MedTalk, still talking about the hepatitis virus. Doctors, we've touched on hepatitis A, signs and symptoms, mm -hmm. treatment, vaccine, as well as B and, and C. Uh, in passing, I understand that there are two other letters of the alphabet yeah. in relation to the hepatitis virus, which is D and E. Dr. Janus, please tell us about this. Well, yes, um, there's hepatitis D and E, although we really don't know if um, how common they are in our country. In, mm -hmm. My eight years of practice here, I haven't seen a case um, of okay. uh, this infection. But just briefly, hepatitis B is similar to D is similar to B and C. Mm -hmm. It's chronic as mm -hmm. well, leads to cirrhosis and cancer. So blood whereas, and bodily fluids. Yes. yes. Whereas right. hepatitis E is similar to A. Contaminated food and water. Food oh, and water. Yeah. Okay. And uh, <laughs> it does not last in your body. Acute uh -huh. lang siya, nawawala after right. ma infect ang person. Okay, yeah. so thank you very much, doctor. Yes. Fatty liver. I want to go back to fatty liver. Yes. Is it. <laughs> It's not a virus, no? nor is it yes. a bacteria. What yes. exactly is it? So unlike, what do we have to understand about it? Yeah, so unlike hepatitis A to E, that's caused by a virus. Mm -mm. Now, fatty liver is uh, the most common liver disease. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure many, many, many of us have fatty liver. And fatty liver can be brought about by two things. A lot of good food mm. and a lot of alcohol. So there is alcohol-related fatty liver disease, and there is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, yun yung kakambal ng diabetes, uh, being overweight, um, uh, high abnormal cholesterol. So mm -hmm. yun yung magkakambal. So we call it the metabolic syndrome. So all these lifestyle diseases into one. So metabolic syndrome. So if you're diabetic, then chances are ka okay. to have fatty liver. If mm -hmm. you are overweight with a high cholesterol, chances are you have fatty liver. How do you find out? Uh, get an ultrasound, and uh, usually, makikita don na there is fat in your liver. Okay. Um, is that bad? Uh, well, it can be reversible, so you can diet, exercise, eat the Stay right Stay away food. from the good food. Yes, control in moderation your, again. In moderation, <laughs> yes. thank you, Dr. Jainus. Hindi naman pwede, masyadong restrictive. Make sure because that you're... Because the, the diet still has to be balanced. Mm -hmm. it, 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 the recommendation is not to avoid a particular food. Eh. Just oh. balance. Saka portion size. Eh. Yes, portion size, exactly. Portion size yeah. talaga. Control your blood sugar if you're diabetic. Okay. Control your cholesterol. And mm -hmm. all these things can, can lead to improvement in your fatty liver. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and again, it's reversible. So it's up to you. Medication, yeah. Just to reverse? Taking, yeah. Uh, uh, reverse. Uh, right now, there are no medications that are proven to be effective for um, fatty liver related to lifestyle. Okay. Um, and oh. it's really a lifestyle change that has been 
currently consistently shown to be effective in reversing fatty liver. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, uh, a weight loss uh, of about seven to ten percent of your current weight, if you are, um, if you have fatty liver, very effective in uh, improving your fatty liver, okay. and that's over a period of ten, uh, uh, six months. Because mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. um, rapid weight loss is also discouraged. Not good. Yes. So rapid weight loss may indicate. Um, Maybe an indicator for another medical condition. condition well, in, yes. in the same topic, no, as hepatitis, because yeah. mm. yes. rapid weight loss can yes. be hepatitis B or C. Cancer. Liver, or cancer, liver cancer. Or liver yes. cancer. Yeah. We don't want, uh, we do not want it to get to liver cancer. We don't want cirrhosis. We, yes. ha we must avoid hepatitis A if possible, B and C. How do we take care of our liver? How do we protect our liver? Let's start with Dr. Eternity. Um, Get yourself tested and protected so that you know your status for hepatitis A, B, and C. Um, have a healthy lifestyle. Um, you can prevent fatty liver, have a well-balanced diet. Um, alcohol. Yes, alcohol in moderation. Okay. Uh -huh. um, any other, like, um, once you're diagnosed, uh, let's say you're diagnosed to have um, either hepatitis, hepatitis, B, yes, hepatitis or C, B or C, yes. C does it hamper your, um, your sports activity or does it uh, prevent you from uh, doing certain uh, things that you used to do prior to the diagnosis? Definitely not. Um, if you're, 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 if you, well, unless you have complications already, of mm. course, if you have uh, cirrhosis. liver cirrhosis and liver cancer, of course, that can have an impact on your daily activities. But if it's in a stage that um, you can lead a healthy, normal life, you can work. Um, so no major impact if uh, you're monitored, discovered early, and no complications has set in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. You mentioned that hepatitis A is, um, can be spread through food and water. It's the holidays, a lot of people are traveling. Any mm -hmm. advice that you'd like to give them? Um, they may find themselves in an area where sanitation is not, that, um, it's not available or it's not, it's not there. Yes, there are areas where, where hepatitis A is prevalent. Our country is an area with uh, high hepatitis A. So travelers to countries like that, get yourself vaccinated. Okay, prior to traveling. Yeah. How, how to travel. um, for example, you, you're traveling uh, next week. How often should uh, Oh, you? just get yourself vaccinated when you know that you're going to travel. No particular number of days prior to your uh, departure? Um, the earlier, the better. Mm. But um, you get some form of protection um, as long as you've uh, given yourself the vaccine. Okay. Um, uh, before you go to the place um, uh, you're going to go to. Okay. Yes. Just like uh, getting the flu vaccine no? when you yes. know you're going to travel. So a hepatitis yeah. vaccine yes. uh, is also uh, required. Yes. Yeah. Or recommended rather. Yeah. Hepatitis A, two doses for the vaccine six months apart so you get full protection. Mm -hmm. Hepatitis B, three doses so for you to get the full protection. But after the first dose, you have you some can, sort yes. of protection already. Right. So you can so, travel already. You don't yes, have to wait the, for the yes, third the dose for you to travel. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Doctors, uh, your final message to all our uh, televiewers. Uh, let's start with you, Dr. Um, Ternity. Okay. Um, uh, for, for, for our listeners out there <coughs> who, wants to, who may be worrying about their hepatitis B or C status, um, please check out our Facebook page. Um, we have our, our Be Aware campaign. So um, a lot of people out there are lost or misinformed and they feel stigmatized and anxious. So um, empower yourself, learn more about what you have, consult your doctor so that you will be given proper advice. Okay, thank you, Doc Eternity. Doc Janus? Oh, I think you already covered it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think um, uh, as Dr. Labio had mentioned, um, I think maybe I'll make a plug for um, yes, the okay. universal vaccination mm -hmm. of infants. That because um, we're still we are still unable to achieve maximal benefit from uh, infant vaccination. Mm -hmm. um, so therefore, I think. For all the fathers, the mothers, the grandparents mm -hmm. who are listening, mm -hmm. 
Mm. Um, make sure that an infant once born gets the vaccine within 24 hours. Okay. And that's enough to protect against hepatitis B. Even Liver if you don't cancer. know the status of the mother. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basta, just for the protection of the baby, mm -hmm. get the vaccine. And again, it's it mandatory. Is, it's Yes, it's an, a Republic it, Act. It prevents liver cancer and it prevents liver cirrhosis. Mm -hmm. so. It's the most effective way. Anti-cancer vaccine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aside from the vaccine, the most effective way is for you to empower us and educate us all yes. about the hepatitis virus, yes. and that's what you've done for all of us tonight. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And Merry Christmas. Merry Advance Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We'll see you again next Tuesday, 7 p.m. here on Med Talk. Your scheduled on-air consultation on 9 TV. This is Angel Jacob. Good night. risk of getting severe disease. So they are um, persons who have cirrhosis, those who have chronic liver disease. Okay. It is recommended that they be tested, and if they're not immune, they be vaccinated. Um, there's also a particular risk group, men who have sex with men. They are also advised to um, have themselves tested, and if they are not yet immune, mm -hmm. that they should be vaccinated for um, hepatitis A. Mm -hmm. Aside from that, because hepatitis A is so common in our country, anyone I think is at risk. So if you feel you want to be protected, mm -hmm. you can have yourself tested and uh, be vaccinated as well. Okay, so yeah. tested first and then vaccinated. Yes. You can't go ahead and, and go to your uh, your doctor and say, or go to a healthcare practitioner and say, you know, I'd like to get a hepatitis A vaccine the without reason, being tested. The reason is about 60% of Filipinos may already, already have, have the antibody have been exposed so sayang one... naman yung vaccine okay yes so it, it, the filipinos now you mentioned the filipinos 60 percent of us yes. may have it yeah. why is that is it because of a lifestyle is that because of what we eat because it, the virus is common in our country mm -hmm. it's endemic they call it endemic mm -hmm. so it's a it's widespread um, in our country so that's why we are inadvertently exposed to it um, during our day-to-day uh, -day activities. Mm -hmm. And so, the best way to combat that is to get tested and to get the vaccine. If you're not yet immune. If yes. you're not yeah. yet immune. Yeah. Okay. In the event that you are immune to the vaccine. Then immune, you're already protected. Then you're protected for life. Oh, for yes. life. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, it's a virus. We say it's yes. a virus. Uh, does it go away uh, with medication, with treatment, hepatitis A, or will it stay in your system? And when your immune system goes down, will it recur? Yeah. Hepatitis A, fortunately, you know, our immune system can resolve it. Mm -hmm. So there's really no major serious consequence to add in is A, B, and C, uh, A and B being the more common ones here in our country. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, um, mas uh, popular or the, mm. the ones that we hear often are the A, B, and C. We can touch yes. a little bit about, uh, we can touch on the uh, DNA later on in the program. But let's first talk about hepatitis A. Let's get to know about uh, hepatitis is a virus, no? Well, hepatitis means swelling of the liver. So, it's like a generic term. No? Hepa means liver, itis means swelling. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of things can cause swelling of the liver. It can be a virus, mm -hmm. it can be alcohol, it can be fat, it can be medications or drugs. So, mm -hmm. now for our show, it's a virus. So, Hepa A, B, C are all viruses. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with the hepatitis virus A. Dr. Janus, hepatitis virus A, how, how does it spread and well, uh, how do you get it? Um, hepatitis A is spread by what they call the fecal oral route, meaning it's through ingestion of the virus. Mm -hmm. So, yung uh, kakain mo na merong hepatitis A, dun, dun nata transmit yung hepatitis A virus. Mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, so that's usually um, eating out in um, uh, places where 
uh, it's less than optimal sanitary conditions, um, you, especially in the preparation of the food. Okay, so hepatitis A uh, is uh, spread through water and food. Food, contaminated food and water. Okay, so when we eat out, um, sometimes, diba, we get an upset tummy, we get diarrhea, and we attribute it. Parang tin, kailangan itrace eh, where you ate and what you ate. Mm -hmm. So that is hepatitis A. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Most often. of the time, if the symptoms are immediately after eating, it's more food poisoning than okay. hepatitis A. Okay. With hepatitis A, there's usually an... 30 seconds in the Asia-Pacific region. While not everyone with hepatitis may exhibit evident symptoms, those with hepatitis may experience abdominal discomfort, diarrhea, nausea, jaundice or the yellowing of the skin and even stomach ache. Ang alam ng madami is pag nagka-hepatitis ka, maninilaw ang iyong mga mata or maninilaw ang iyong balat. Ang tawag namin doon is jaundice. No? Pero may mga hepatitis, sa klase ng hepatitis, tulad ng hepatitis B, saka hepatitis C, na walang sintomas. If not given the right medical attention, some cases of hepatitis can lead to a more serious outcome, such as cirrhosis, which may later on become liver cancer. What types of vaccines are available to those with hepatitis? How can viral hepatitis be prevented? Find out the answers tonight on MedTalk. And joining us tonight is Dr. Janus Ong, a hepatologist from the Medical City. He's the Public Relations Officer of the Hepatology Society of the Philippines. Also joining us tonight is Dr. Eternity Labio. She's also a hepatologist from the Medical City. She's also the President of the Hepatology Society of the Philippines. You may join in the discussion by calling our hotline at 548-4678. Good evening, doctors. Welcome to MedTalk. Good evening. As we've seen in the video, there are several types of hepatitis and uh, each type is identified by the letters of the alphabet. So doctors, please help us understand, uh, please help us distinguish one from the other. Let's start with you, Doc Eternity. Yeah, so from the video you, sh you, you showed that it was A, B, C, D, and E, right? Yes. But uh, siguro for our concerns, anong relevant? This program aims to find solutions to your medical queries. It seeks answers to common health problems that have been hounding you. We will help you out in finding answers to your medical concerns. Good evening everyone, I'm Angel Jacob and this is MedTalk, your weekly on-air health consultation here on NITV. Our liver is designed to fight off viruses, toxins, and other hazardous chemicals and drugs in our body. But when it becomes inflamed, it can cause various health complications and can possibly even lead to death. Hepatitis meaning hepa, which is liver, and itis meaning swelling or pamamaga. So there are many causes kung bakit mamamaga ang ating mga atay. Pwedeng hepatitis because of a virus, hepatitis dahil sa pagiinom ng alak, hepatitis dahil sa pag-inom ng mga delikadong mga gamot. So yun ang mga pinaka-common na hepatitis. There are five unique hepatitis viruses according to the World Health Organization. These are identified by the letters A, B, C, D, and E. According to the Coalition to Eradicate Viral Hepatitis in Asia Pacific in the Philippines, someone dies from viral hepatitis every incubation period that they call. Um, it's the period where the virus infects you and then before the symptoms start. That's usually a couple of weeks. Oh, it takes yes. weeks. Yes. So uh, between the, the time that you ingested um, the virus, the virus 
uh, it won't manifest right away. Not right away. Yes. Oh, okay. So, what are the uh, first uh, symptoms that uh, mm -hmm. one will experience uh, in the event na my virus nga inside yeah. of them? Doctor Usually, Turnitin. hepatitis A, you get like a flu-like symptom, like parang may trangkaso. Mm -hmm. So you get like fever, you feel weak, etc. So it's like a flu type of illness. Mm -hmm. But then later on, then you get yellow, no? So yun yung yellowing of the eyes and the skin, then we call that jaundice, right? Okay. But all this angel can be prevented by a vaccine. So, mm -hmm. so I think that's one of the messages that we want to bring out there that Hepatitis A, you can protect yourself from hepatitis A, get mm -hmm. a vac have yourself tested or um, find out whether you receive the vaccine because the vaccine is safe and effective and it can prevent future infections. Okay, so uh, who are candidates to get a vaccine? Um, we, were, uh, we saw in the video earlier okay. that you know, when you eat out and uh, there are different types of food and uh, in different areas. Mm. No, sometimes uh, <coughs> hindi rin maiiwasan that you, um, mm. you're hungry already and you have to eat in a certain area. Um, maiiwasan ba ang hepatitis A? How do you get the uh, vaccine and when should you get it? Um, well, many Filipinos have been exposed to hepatitis A um, and not know that they had hepatitis A kasi some of the infections or majority of the infections actually do not manifest with symptoms. Mm -hmm. So, um, there are no, uh, the clear recommendations for hepatitis A vaccine are for those who are at 